All this in the box. All these tools, we can save it. Uh, just came back, and now I, I just check again. I make one mistake earlier. The Vanderhall, it's here. I, I remember the Vanderhall was under the Porsche over there. So what engine is this one? That, that's that's what's remaining from the Vanderhall. Yeah. And what, what tends to be careful, don't be under the car. Be, be careful, don't trust anything. You see where it's the, the leg? You don't know, especially under the pores, you know, the, the pores move. This, this it is for Ziglas, okay, I remember that. I saw that. The other one back over there. What is this? This is a... the, This is the new engine? Yes in the box yes. that he brought Omar. Yes. Can be. <sighs> yes, you're right. In a carton box. What engine was that? I didn't hardly even see this engine. Just to say that the, I make mistake, like I said earlier, I thought that it, it didn't survive nothing from a uh, Vanderhall. But looks like that the Vanderhall was on this jack and not under the Porsche. This one, it's you know all the all the weight it's here, yes. Mohammed. Yes. All the weight is here. Yeah. You see, it's even bent. Yes. It's do, don't go under of this car. Don't go near to this car. Okay. This we need to bring the forklift yeah. and dump it down. Yeah. This is an LS2, like I said before. We need, we need to get the forklift and start cleaning a little bit the area. Because I need to remove the engines from inside. Yeah. Wherever you see tool, see the hand tools, yeah. it's saleable. Also the T handle here, you see. We're gonna put in a rust remover and we can save it. Be careful with your head. Okay. Don't hit anywhere. Don't be near of this. It's holding. It's okay, it's not gonna fall off. It might fall all the car now because there's no weight. It has a rear diff. Yeah. The, the covers here it's for scrap, don't even attempt this. We need to make one big box outside to put for scrap direct. Need to clean this area to move inside. I tried to find also the hardest drive. I found some pages from my books. I took it out because the handwritten things I'm not gonna be able to find again. And I found also on the laptop, I found the hard disk drive. It was an SSD, actually. This is... This was an SSD. You know, I didn't, I didn't show on my laptop. My laptop, it's under of all this mess. I have to come out here. I'm gonna drink some water. That's the frame of the laptop over there. I'm gonna drink some water and go digging over there. This is... The chalk that had here. Of the camshafts. Yeah, this all gone. This all gone. Molten aluminium from the brackets. Here was the brackets. Whatever was anodized, it didn't melt. Whatever it was pure aluminium, it melted, became. It became liquid. All this aluminum, all this thing, all this piece, it's aluminum. <laughs> and the wooden floor of the, of the container, it didn't get burned. I'm stepping on the wooden floor, by the way. That was a chair, once upon a time. We get some tools from here. Some tools are saveable. The bottle was empty, as far as I remember. The other box here became charcoal. Let me drink some water and dig there for the laptop. You may, you never know, right? Maybe I'm like, I had two uh, hard disk drives. Not, I had one hard disk drive and one SSD. 
before I go for vacations, I clone the hard disk drive on an SSD and I put it inside of the laptop to be more safe. I was thinking that it was more safe. Okay, drinking a little bit of water and continue. I'm moving on. This was a new chalk for the lathe. Yeah, this, this was a new one. Maybe if I put in a rust remover to come back again. We're gonna see. Also the other one there. Yeah, continue, continue digging. I found one of my laptops. Here I put the SSD. Here it's the hard disk drive. My only chance is with the hard disk drive, not with the SSD. And if the socket is not good, I have to find the same brand on Houston, obviously, and swap the inner parts. I've done this before successfully, but not on a small one. I have done this on a big hard disk drive. Yeah, we're gonna see how I'm gonna go this one. If the disks inside is nice and clean, I might get away with that. We're gonna see. If I don't scratch it while I'm removing it or while I'm installing it. That's the story. Some tools already in the van. It's not, it's some general tools here. We're gonna go install the rust remover. I found some notes there. I'll take it with me. Some torque plates that I have to send it to the machine shop to resurface it again and hone it again. It's not going to be true, definitely. Some tools that I was using to torque down the damper pulley, to hold the damper pulley, like this for the M56. These that don't have any problem. Some other they get fused with the boxes. Slowly. You're going to have... It's going to be a restoration of the tools. <laughs> Go figure out. Okay, to be able to move on, at this point, need to come the guys from the scrap yard to start throwing some scrap. Some. The most of them here are scrap. This, by the way, this is the whiteboard. That was, that's the whiteboard that was here on this wall. So that's the plan. Need to get rid of all of the scraps to be able to move on. The, I saw one transmission, it's completely melt. This, this is the coil from the AC that up the air conditioning unit. And if you see the transmission, it looks completely gone, that's how it looks like. <sighs> so yeah, that's the story now. Start cleaning the area. Nothing, I, to, sh to show you what, there is nothing to see here. There is nothing to see here. The transmission jack is still standing there. The car that came for the AC compressor and turned up like that. The car that was ready, and this was ready actually. What can I say for this car? He didn't even enjoy the custom of his car. Didn't even enjoy the car. Yeah, this this is from the C63. I was planning to open it to see if it survived something. What? To, yeah. All right. I wish, right? Yeah. Ninety-nine percent from all these parts are going for scrap. This was the problem with the hydraulic lifter. With the ticking lifter, you see the cylinder head from this side of the cover, it's open. I was waiting the pickup tube down, the lifters. This engine, I never opened it from the box. It came in a box and I never opened it. I didn't have the chance to open it actually. 
hier met de transmissie van BMW iets doen. De front diff of de Porsche. I spent how much time for this transmission, for this, only for this one, but for this one, for this one, this I rebuilt the engine, I don't remember, a year ago, two years ago, I don't remember when I rebuilt this, this was the red CLS 63. Upstairs, I haven't been upstairs to be honest, I just make my way to the engine room. Hey, by the way, some people they are asking how it, how it started the fire. I have no clue, gentlemen. I was inside the engine room. I hear two explosions, at least two explosions. Might be more than two explosions. And I hear also Omar screaming my name. Well, as soon as I open the door from the engine room, I see smoke there on the washing area. And then I make my way out. Here up there was M104 in line six. There was 113K. There was transmissions there that became a melt. There was one million things here up. I don't even remember what was here up. Transmissions, new transmissions over there. On the right, I had some superchargers for the 113K. There was three new superchargers for the 113K over there. At least three. That's what I remember, at least. <sighs> Cylinder head. Intake manifolds here. Yeah, screw it. It's not safe to step there up. That's why I didn't went more in. It's not safe even here on the ladder. Yeah. Yeah. Inlet pipe from M057. This most probably came from up. It fell from there up, down. Honestly, I don't know how it starts and from where it starts. I have no clue. At, at that time, when Omar he was screaming my name, I just finished. I I was just upload the video for the M8. I wrapped that time the M8. I had it here. I upload the video and I was ready to make it public. That day I make it at. I make it at night public because of the fire, because I forget it. I just wrap it and I was here actually holding my phone, Omar, and I hit two small explosions and I, I opened the door and I saw the smoke from there. Omar, he was screaming my name and everybody was running. Yeah, that's, that's how it was. That's how it is. That's it, over and out. Some of this comes out so the M056 was healthy. Now, I doubt we're gonna be straight, all gonna be cleaned. The spray foam here inside, because of the, to, to put out the fire actually. It melt even down here, the dining cover. And I saw also another one thing. I saw the cylinder head. <clears throat> what, what I was thinking about the DJ8s, I was thinking that the DJ8s, it's at 82.5 millimeters and it's never been resurfaced. I don't know if it's worth it to try to send the machines off the block to see if we can save, if we can hone it at 83 millimeters, if you can resurface and to be okay. I have no clue about that. I need to get some measurements first if it's way out or I can send it to the machine shop and check direct. Another thing that I saw here on the cylinder head, see how much bent. And this, this la these valves already lapped before for the cylinder head. It was already, it was ready. I was, I was just waiting for the, the valve seals to mount it. Also, this was ready. I was waiting only the thermostat. The M056, I was just waiting to receive the oil thermostat here to put it inside. Okay, the M057 and the, this M056 with the Nikasil goes for us. Forget about this. But at least for the customers. And how many engines out. Also, this is the EX. Take a look how it ended up. 
this, this was already at 83 millimeters. Yeah, this was already at 83 millimeters. I doubt that we're gonna be able to do something like that. <sighs> yep. Like I said before, priority has Mr. Nufu to be well, to become well, to recover as soon as fast as soon as possible. Uh, then to take care of the customers, to be able to to, to give them a, a thing at least. You know, I don't know. Some people they're gonna need some money. Some people they're gonna need the, their cars back. I have no clue about that. We're gonna see how we're gonna end up this one. It's not. It's not on my hand. I'm just an employee. I have said that one million times. <coughs> I don't know how we're gonna end up this story. Yeah, low mileage fuel rails for M56. <laughs> this was the killer chiller. My attempt. To make, I didn't have a time to finalize it. This was a brassless AC compressor, and there was an ice tank, and inside there is a cooler, there is a cell, and with the coolant I went to minus 16 degrees Celsius. It was working fine, but I never finalized it. It's supposed to go back like an ice tank and to work independently with the alternator from an SLS that has 220 amperes, not from a. C63. Yeah, that this was. Forget it. This is for scrap now. Goes for scrap, like the rest of the parts. This. Yep. That's it. That's it. Whatever you, you see, you see scrap. Nothing more, nothing less. Thanks, everybody, for the support. Thanks also the customers and the friends. For the tools, some people they send money, some other people they send tools, some other people they send they, they send wishes. It's everything is welcome. Thank you very much. That's it. Over and out. Nothing to see here. Here where are the welders? It looks nice. Looks nice, okay. Yeah. Thanks again.